Hi boys and girls, it's Pastor Suzanne in Alaska, and I'm here today with another story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And today we're going to have a very exciting story about Joshua. He was a warrior and God used him to do some amazing things with the children of Israel. And today we're going to talk about their very first battle. And this helps us remember that when we get into situations and it looks like there's no help or no way that anything's going to change, there's always a chance it's going to change because the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. And today we're going to have a story to help you remember that. So let's begin. Today's story is called The Warrior Leader. After Moses died, God gave his people a new leader, and his name was Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Joshua was going to lead God's people into a special land that God had promised to give them. Now, by this time, God's people had been wandering around in the baking desert for 40 long years. So you can imagine how sick they were of sand and anything yellow and tense and walking and walking and being hot and how happy they were to reach the edge of the desert and to see their beautiful new home right there in front of them, all cool and green and lovely, but there was only one problem, Jericho. Now Jericho was a city, but it wasn't just any old city, it was a fortress and it stopped anyone from getting into the land. The people looked at Jericho and it was a big, giant, scary, scary city that had big, giant, scary walls all around it. And they had heavy iron gates that bolted shut. And then they looked at each other. There. Look at that. See the big fortress? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's find out. <gasps> what would they do? No one knew, but God knew and God told Joshua what to do. But Joshua must have looked surprised because it was in a very odd battle plan that God was giving him. Very odd indeed. And we're still going to find out what it was. Then God made his people a promise. I will always be with you and I'll never ever leave you. If you do what I say, your lives in the new land are going to be really, really happy and everything will go well. So, Joshua gathered his army together. They had their swords and they had their spears and they had their shields. They were ready to fight, but the plan wasn't about fighting. It was about trusting and doing exactly what God said. Joshua's army went marching and marching and marching around and around the city, day and night, day after day after day. They marched around that big city. They're too scared to fight, the people of Jericho said. Well, let's see. What do you think? Let's see what happens. But they were wrong because God's people weren't scared at all. They were waiting, waiting for God to tell them what to do next. And on the seventh day, God told his people to march around the city. Not once, not twice, but seven times. Seven times they were going to march around that city. And then God told everyone to make as much noise as they could. Has anyone ever told you to make as much noise as you possibly can? Well, imagine that noise and add 39,999 other people making that noise too. Well, you get the idea. Ear splitting. And as it turned out, it was stone splitting too because the huge stone walls of Jericho just crumbled to the ground as if they were made of sand. And Jericho vanished into a great big cloud of dust. Way they were surprised, weren't they? Really surprised. Oh my goodness. So it was that God's people entered into their new home and they didn't have to fight to get in. They only had to walk. Joshua said, God has brought you safely here. Now you will do what he says, right? Well, everyone said, we promise. Only God can make your heart happy, Joshua said. So don't pray to pretend gods. No, they said, we'll never do that. 
I'm afraid they didn't keep their promises, though. They didn't do what God said. And many years later, God would bring a solution to that problem because they didn't do what he said. And God warned them that it would be sad and it would be bad if they didn't do what he said. They would lose their home. Many years later, they did. And enemies would capture them. And many years later, they did. And they would be slaves. And many years later, they would go back to being slaves. And that's just what God brought them out of. And God's people, well, they would scatter into many different lands. But God's plan was still working. One day, he would give his people another leader and another home. And this home, no one would ever be able to take away from them. So, that was the story about Joshua, the great warrior, and the walls of Jericho that came falling down by walking around and shouting when God said to shout. It's really important that we do what God says because sometimes it may sound silly to us when he asks us to do something, but he always knows best. So I want to pray for you right now. Boys and girls, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this word. Thank you for the stories that you put in your Bible, God's word, so that we can learn to live our lives. And we don't have to go through some of the problems and the struggles that the people that we're reading about did. You put those stories in there for us to learn so that we can have a better life and a more happy life. Thank you for these boys and girls that are listening today. We just ask that you would watch over, protect them, that you would keep them safe from harm and danger, that you would give them the desires of their hearts because you put those desires in their hearts. And Lord, that you would just watch over their moms and their dads and most importantly, help them to always keep you in their heart. And if you don't know Jesus today, just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Make my heart all clean. And be the Lord of my life. I love you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. So, that was our story for this week, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Pastor Suzanne in Alaska saying, I love you. And God loves you too. And that's why he gave us his word. And that's why he sent his son, Jesus, to die for us so that we could live forever with him. So be good. Until next time. Bye-bye.